All right, everybody, grab your popcorn and get ready for another math adventure. Today's topic, writing linear equations. And we're going to need to use our good friend, slope-intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. Now, there are two things that we're going to need to be able to write equations of line. The first is the slope, or our m value. Second, the y-intercept. In our y-intercept form, that is represented by our b. Once you get these two things, you just plug them in and you've got yourself an equation of a line. Here's our first example. We want to write an equation of a line given the slope and the y-intercept. Here they're telling us the slope is 2 thirds and the y-intercept is negative 2. Since we're writing an equation of a line, we want to go back to our bread and butter, y equals mx plus b. Now remember those two things we want to find. First is our slope. We know our slope is equal to 2 thirds. And after we've got our sloped, we want our y-intercept, which our y-intercept is equal to negative 2. And remember, that's our b value. Now that we've got our slope and our y-intercept, all we need to do is plug those in. Our m is going to go in for our slope, and our y-intercept is going to be replaced into b. Subbing those in, we're going to get an answer of y equals 2 thirds for our slope, x plus negative 2 for our b. And that's our equation. All right, example numero dos. Write an equation of a line given the slope and a point. Here we have a slope equal to two, and we pass through the point negative two, one. And there ain't no party like a slope intercept party. So let's bring in our y equals mx plus b. Now what were those two things that we needed to write the equation of a line? That's right, the slope and the y-intercept. Well, we've got a slope value of two, there we go, m equals 2, and our y-intercept, what? Okay, we don't have our y-intercept, that's a problem. So, let's see what we do have here, and maybe we can solve for that. So, we've got this point here, negative 2, 1. Now, we know a line has lots and lots of different points, but we can make this point work for us. We know that this negative 2 represents the x-coordinate, and this 1 represents the y-coordinate. So now, if we use this x value and this y value along with our slope, we could plug all of those in and solve for b. So check this out. Let's rewrite this, plugging in the information that we do know. So instead of y, we're going to write 1. So that'll give us 1. Again, that's just plugging in our y coordinate for the y value. 1 equals m. Instead of m, let's go ahead and rewrite uh, substitute in our slope, which is 2. 2 right there. And again, that 2 value is coming from our slope or our m value. Now we've got our y equals mx. 1 equals 2 times x. That x value we can replace with our x coordinate, negative 2. I'm going to put parentheses just to keep myself separated here. Perfect. That negative 2 takes care of my x coordinate and my x from slope-intercept form, and lastly, we have plus b. Now that b is the only variable, we can solve. That's going to give us 1 equals negative 4 plus b, or a b value of 5. Perfect. Now we have our y-intercept, b equals 5. Sweet. We have our slope, our y-intercept. All that's left to do is plug these guys in, and we've got our answer. That's going to be y equals 2x plus 5, plugging in our slope of 2 and our y-intercept of 5. All right, the last example ever in life on this specific video. Okay, write an equation of a line given two points. So this time we know the line's passing through these two points, 3, 1, and 0, negative 2. We got our y equals mx plus b. Boom, we want to find our slope and y-intercept. This time, we have neither of these. So this is what you got to do when you have two points. All right, try to think back. When you have two points, how do you find the slope between those two spots on the coordinate plane? Well, we can use our slope formula. Remember, our difference in y divided by our differences in x, or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Doing that, we'll get an m value equal to negative 2 minus 1, differences in y, negative 2 minus 1, divided by 0 minus 3, or our differences in x. Simplifying that out, we'll get negative 3 over negative 3, which will simplify to an m value of 1. 
All right, we've got our m value of one. Now we're in the same boat as the last example. We've got our slope, but we don't have a y-intercept. So all we need to do here is select either of these points, either one, we'll get the same answer, and proceed like we did in the last example. I'm gonna go ahead and pick zero, negative two. Plugging all those in, we'll get y, negative two, equals m, one, times x, or zero, plus b. That's just subbing in all the values that we know. Solving from there, we end up with a y-intercept of negative 2. Now we've got our slope and our y-intercept. Let's plug those in. That'll give us y equals mx, or 1 times x, plus b. Our b is negative 2, so that turns to negative 2. That'll give us y equals x minus 2. Beautiful. So remember, as long as you can find your slope, your y-intercept, you can just plug it right into y equals mx plus b, and you've got your equation.